Hey, what's up YouTube? Just branching out from my typical videos of doing car repairs. Little side hobby that I have, which is for some people might consider it possibly weird or uh, or dorky. But uh, one of the things I've always had an interest in is any type of machine, especially machines that help uh, make your lives better and easier or more efficient, especially when it comes to machines that help make improvements such as cleaning apparatuses. So I have this uh, older Royal vacuum cleaner here that I picked up uh, on the pretty inexpensive, uh, more or less just uh, did a quick restore on it, didn't really tear it completely apart, but basically got it and it was pretty dirty and uh, pretty gross. So I did a quick clean up on it and disinfect of it and um, ran the, uh, the actual cloth bag here actually through the washer. Uh, I'm not sure if this was faded before I put it in the washer. I honestly didn't pay that much attention, but I have a feeling it already was. Um, but pretty unique piece of machinery here. And it really shows you how the times have changed uh, over the years as far as the way things are engineered and built. Um, this is a very sturdy, very um, strong built vacuum cleaner. And uh, Royal, which is now known as Dirt Devil, um, just have to get a new light bulb for it, that guy's burned out, um, has been around for uh, a really long time. I want to say uh, since 1905, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, somebody could correct me in the comments there. Uh, this is the 993 model, and I was trying to decipher the uh, serial number to determine the date code of when it was manufactured. And I'm pretty sure from what I was able to come up with based on the serial number, which I'll, I'll put that down in the description. So any of you uh, vacuum uh, guys out there that uh, know how to read that stuff might be able to tell me. But I think it's from 1988, which is kind of surprising considering it looks like it's straight out of like the 50s. So um, I do believe my grandma on my dad's side had the exact same vacuum. Uh, it may have even been the exact same color concept too. And uh, unfortunately, it got left in a wet area and rusted out pretty bad underneath. And it really wasn't, you know, even worth, you know, fooling around with it at that point. I mean, I could have restored it, but, eh, you know, these aren't super demanding or um, uh, going for too, too much money out there. So um, this is just a quick view of the back here. You know, you see you have your basic on and off switch, your cord. It's the back of the bag there. Bag's in pretty good shape. Like I said, I ran it through the washing machine with some hot water. Um, this is nice. This is your foot pedal here. So this is releases it. And it's all done on like a spring with a little pencil on it. And what it does is uh, it, it's the adjustment. So if you push here, if you look carefully, you can see the front of the vacuum is getting lower and lower to the, the floor. And this releases it and lifts the the front nozzle back off the floor so it's kind of neat um i was thinking the cord was replaced by somebody because if you notice the cord that goes down uh to the actual motor is white and has the old-fashioned prongs on it um i was thinking maybe it was replaced but i'm thinking that's not necessarily true because of all the pictures i look at these guys online they all come with these black cords and um just to show you too is that i noticed that this also has the more modern if that'll focus there this has the more modern style cord where one side's thicker than the other side so that definitely would date it being probably if it is the original cord which it kind of seems that way you know based on um what i've seen online then that would mean that that cord is um it, it's very likely that it could be from 1988 since it has a more modern style plug on it um so i'll just do a quick run i mean as you can see the carpets are perfectly clean but i figured just kind of show you how it performs so i'm gonna go ahead now like i said the light is burned out i do have to pick up a bulb for that so i'm gonna go ahead and flick it on well it helps plug it in i guess <laughs> ah Got to turn that light switch on. Now it'll come on. <laughs> I was like, what's happening here? All right.
but as you can see it does a really good job i mean i mean these carpets are pretty old but i mean obviously we're not a bunch of slobs so we take care of our carpet but um I mean, as you can see just from the the streaks in the carpet uh it does a really good job it seems to have a lot of power um so yeah let me know what you guys think out there um you can help me date it like i said i'll put down in the uh, description the 993 model number and the uh, serial number so you guys can uh, give me your feedback um it uses the style type a i believe it's called by royal bags a little harder to come across i've seen them on the uh on the Amazon and on the eBay. Um, right now I'm just using these bags here, which is the uh, the F and G for, uh, I believe these are for Eureka. Yeah, Eureka. And uh, I found they work because um, they have that tube style, um, basically a paper tube that goes up to the top of the bag, down to the spout that's down here at the bottom. And it has like a, uh, a spring, type of fastener I'll just open it and show you and what it does is it I don't know if you'll be able to see here it uses this see it uses that so what I with the little spring that goes around the nozzle so I just fold the bag over a little bit to make it smaller and then put the spring over and it works just fine so it's a good cheap more uh accessible bag that works in there is the F and G from Eureka, uh, which I picked those up as well. At the same place I got this, they just wanted to shop. I was like, well, these will work in here. So yeah, something to check out. Um, like I said, not my typical video, but any of you guys out that are into repairing old fashion type of uh, machines or vacuums or anything, uh, this might be a, a good little watch for you. So thanks for watching.